Have I calmed down? Uh, probably not. Pro- probably not. Probably not. But why would I calm down? We're watching V. Let's g- g- video two. Let's go. Hello wonderful humans of the internet, how are we? My name is Sam Scott Thorne and I am a vocal coach based in Glasgow. Now if you'd like to meet and explore your voice a little more, you can find me on sstvocals.com. You can also find me on Patreon and various other social media platforms and I'll put the handles down below and over there. Over there. Was that kind of a little bit of the riff from that last song? I don't know, maybe. Maybe. If it sounded like it, it was deliberate. If it didn't, it was random, okay? Now, if you'd like to consider becoming a patron, you have access to things like early release of reactions, you can fast track reactions, become a reaction, there's special roles on my Discord server, and you have access to all sorts of bonus content, like my Vocal Anatomy 101 series, where you learn how the voice works. So consider becoming a patron and help shape my channel. Okay, we are into the second song of V's Tiny Desk Korea performance. I don't know what it's called, but that does not matter. I think it's called dancing strangers or something like that I, I read it but that was a while ago so let's just go listen to the song and see what we think <laughs> Oh, right, okay, so remember in the last video, remember, if you watched the last video, I said I'd need to hear him speak, and now I'm hearing him speak. He does have, again, a little bit of a drop larynx, but on a brighter kind of pitch, a higher pitch. It's very, very strange, but it's really uh, enticing. Mm. Mm, like that. Black. Kurigo, drum, Destin. Kurigo, by Cross, Trudy, Yanu, Shay. Kurigo, the breath. That harmony. I wish I could stay with you. That harmony was delicious. Oh, they are so good together. I also will take the time as the resident fashionista of BTS. I'm wearing a, a grey hoodie. And I love his trousers. I don't know what's going on down there. On the trousers. On the trousers. On the trousers. <laughs> but they are cool. I would like them. The trousers. Let's keep going. Red white. He's such a good keys player. Many waited, really. Thank you so much. Thank you so He's very charming. I have no idea what you're saying, but I'm charmed. Color me charmed. Oh, was that not? This is called slow dancing before I forget. Um, that kind of sounds like a seductive kind of B. <laughs> I, I like it. If I, if there was a saucy little bee flying around, I would be enticed. It's about time we get it straight. Give me a minute if it ain't too late. Touch you, move Ooh, that was a lovely little kind of fry offset there. Uh. Again, fry just gives a little bit of texture. It can allow things to kind of peter out in a way that has just a little bit of grit to it rather than having like a proper smooth ending. His offsets are always really gorgeous. I'm noticing, especially with this song, there's really lovely kind of aspirate tail offs. He really considers how things are gonna sound at the ends of the phrases as well as the beginning. A lot of people will consider what they're doing at the beginning and then the end becomes kind of an afterthought. Not in this case. He has got everything planned out from beginning to end. It's absolutely beautiful. Oh, 
Stay with me till the end of the day Maybe we could be The undertone Me could be You can actually see the jaw coming forward to accommodate this kind of swimmy like it's like an under sound is the best way I can describe it. Everything's really pressed down. The tongue is flat. It's low for sure. That's how you get that kind of uh, kind of sound. The larynx is dropped. Everything kind of sounds like it's almost like a waterfall. It's just leaking from the bottom jaw. Uh, gorgeous. So dancing until the morning. Now, notice here as well, when he goes into some of the brighter vowels, an E kind of sound, he is not spreading his lips to go, we could be. Hear how bright that sounds? It would just remove all of the cool from the song. It would just kill the vibe. So what he's doing is he's keeping those lips nice and loose. He's not smelling to it. We could be together everything's kind of uniform in its delivery so you're not getting any of these exaggerated shapes they might come out at some point but they will be used as like a few and far between if you like this is really going for this kind of staple kind of jazz bar lounge sexy kind of sound i think i've described his voice as sexy before and i'll do it again turning me up and back off like this what do you want do you not like it? Stop teasing me, girl. Now you may really my heart out here. Now you take all I got. I said, I'm not going to get it. I'm not going to get it. Was that him that did that? Hey! That was the biggest noise that I've heard him make so far. That is probably more in keeping with a belt. So your cricoid cartilage is facilitating that sound. It's rocking, allowing more air in behind the vocal folds. I think it's up to like 70% more air you can get behind them when that cartilage is rocking. So it just creates a much, much bigger sound. More airflow, more bang for your buck. You get this, hey, kind of sound. The only time I really hear BTS utilizing like a, a traditional belt, if you like, is when they're doing these kind of like crowd sounds. Hey, way like that kind of thing. And you would think it would maybe be a bit too much for such an intimate performance, but for some reason it wasn't. So there, color me surprised. Maybe we could be so until the morning. So there was a wee bit of a smile there. Until the morning. But notice how he kept the smile through. So everything he's beginning, he's keeping a through line. So when he's brightening that sound, it's staying bright until the end of the phrase. He's considering it from the beginning to the end. You can hear when somebody's smiling through an audio. It just has a brightness that's really particular to the ear and you can just feel the, like, the happiness off of it. So I'm glad that he's introduced a wee bit of smiling and differentiated from that kind of cool, laid-back vibe. He is really, really good at his choices. We could be the night away. The sax player is amazing as well, by the way. I'm going to have to give flowers to the whole band. V is absolutely loving his life here. This is a genre that is just... He was born for. Album. Is there an album? Send me the album because this is going into my rotation. <laughs> Oh, 
again, I've said this, I don't know if it was in this video or the video before, this would not be out of place with within like the new jazz circles. Maybe it is. I I don't know. But if you were to put this in with like say like Tom Meesh, Jordan Rakai, all of those people, it would be like just perfect. He slotted into that genre so well. <laughs> How many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, so the last video I was like, do they always have like six people around them <laughs> so that they don't feel like they're out of place? Because BTS is like a seven piece group, but this has got seven people, so he's now in an eight piece group. So I guess that smashes that theory. But I mean, when it's a band, I suppose you can't be as uh, choosy with however many you want because you get what you need. Oh, again. <laughs> that was so good. Thank <laughs> That was so good! This is exciting to me! Ooh, this feels like a meal. I am nourished by this tiny desk. That sounds really weird to say in a sentence. Now, as a vocal coach, I am not allowed to have favourites. I'm not allowed to have a favourite BTS member. I just can't do it. But this is by far my favourite music that has come from one of the boys. This is just, uh, it's like he wrote this for me. Maybe he did. V, you don't have to do that, but I'm glad you did. And we've had some heavy contenders. That The Jin Astronaut song with Coldplay was amazing. The Standing Next to You, JK, was so good. Pop royalty, but this is just my vibe straight up and down gorgeous we're going on to the third track i don't know what that's called but i cannot wait to get into it so if you like that reaction please give it a like and a thumbs up down below and if you want to see more from me hit subscribe ring the bell and anytime i have new content you'll be the first to know so i guess all that's left for me to say is go and find the next video or if you missed the first one go watch that one and then watch this one again and then we'll go and watch that one we'll do it in order but I guess that's all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for joining me and um so I guess all that's left for me to say is thank you so much for joining me and uh let's go watch together this tiny desk. Let's go watch it together. Love you, bye. See you in the next one. <laughs>